If you're using video to show up online at all, whether it's Zoom call meetings, live streams, or even online interviews, but you're using your built-in webcam and it looks like this, well, what if I told you for $8, you can go from this to this? Let's break it down. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar Corey with Think Media. Now here are three upgrades that you could make to your current built-in webcam setup. The first one being is actually using your smartphone. If you have an Apple or an Android smartphone, you can actually use it as a webcam and it's fairly easy and it only costs about $8. Now here's the steps on how to do that. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is download the app Epoch Cam that can be found in your Google Play Store or your Apple Store and you're gonna download that app and then you're gonna go onto their website and then download their Camera Hub app onto your computer or laptop and we'll post links down to everything in the description below. Now be sure to get the paid version of the app because for just $8 you don't have any limitations. You can access all that stuff with the pro version. Now what's so cool about this app is you can actually connect to your computer wirelessly if you're on the same Wi-Fi or you can connect directly using the USB cable included with the smartphone that you purchase, and then you just select it on Zoom, and then you're good to go. It's really that simple. Now let me address if you are a Mac user, whether it's a MacBook Pro, maybe a Mac Mini, and it's fairly new, that you have the potential possibility to actually use your iPhone to connect wirelessly or with a USB for free. I actually made a tutorial on that, and so if you wanna check that out, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. But the Epoch Camway is great, and I would just recommend you use the rear-facing camera because it is the better camera on your smartphone. But eight bucks, pretty sweet, awesome upgrade. The next way you can actually upgrade your current webcam setup is to actually use a camera you already own. I know a lot of people probably have a camera laying around somewhere because maybe you went to Costco or at one point you wanted a camera to take photos with. Most cameras actually can be used used as webcams with a few things that you just need to take into consideration. The first thing you wanna look for is to see if your camera actually has an HDMI output. You'd be surprised that cameras that are even kind of old have an HDMI output, and a lot of times they're either a micro HDMI if they're super tiny or a mini HDMI, but dependent on your camera, if it does have that, then sweet. This is gonna be a cool upgrade for just about $30, and it's gonna give you insane quality on your Zoom call, live streams, or online interviews. For about you know 10 to $15, you're gonna get an HDMI cable for your camera to plug from your camera into your computer or laptop, and then you're gonna buy a capture card. This will run you at around $22. You're gonna plug your HDMI cable into that capture card, and it turns your HDMI cable into a USB. Now, you can't just do this if you have a dongle laying around with an HDMI output, because that's meant to actually cast from your computer or laptop onto a bigger screen or monitor. In this case, your HDMI capture card will actually take your HDMI and make it an input, and then you can literally turn on your camera, put it in video mode, and then select your camera as your webcam in whatever software or service you may be using a webcam in. Now, another cool hack that you can actually look into is to buy a continuous power adapter so you never have to actually worry about your camera dying, which is actually a really cool thing. Those can cost anywhere between $20 to $30. And so really for just under $50, you can really level up the quality of what you do online via video. Personally, I like the HDMI route, but if you wanted to, you can check if your camera brand model has access to the utility software, whether it be a Canon, Sony, or even Nikon. And in that case, all you'll need is a USB cable to plug into your computer or laptop, and you can access your camera as a webcam that way. I just wanted to tell you the best way, in my opinion, and it would be the way going with an HDMI cable. This video is brought to you by Elgato. Elgato provides great solutions for live streamers, gamers, and even content creators. With the Stream Deck Plus, you can interact with your setup for a smooth and intuitive, fast workflow. With so many plugins available like OBS, Twitch, YouTube, Zoom, Spotify, and so much more, you can trigger almost any action that you want. So maybe Maybe you just wanna launch an app or maybe you have some quick actions when you're doing a live stream or maybe even change the color temperature of your lights and things like that, the Stream Deck Plus will allow you to do just that. With the dials, you can easily change any incremental app settings and also control the apps with just a touch. Swipe through the pages and even see the dial information at a glance. If you'd like to check out the Stream Deck Plus yourself, be sure to check out the link in the description below. Thank you, Elgato, for sponsoring this video. Now the next webcam upgrade you can make for under $50 at the time of shooting this video at least is the the Anchor PowerComp C 
200 2K webcam. This is like a privacy thing. It has a switch, pretty cool, right? But this is literally, at the time of shooting this video, a $47 webcam and the image looks incredible. And what I love about this is the build quality. You can rest it on the screen, but there's also a quarter inch screw. So if you wanna put it on a little stand or something that you have, then you can do that as well. But it takes a USB-C cable from the back and then you just plug it straight into your computer or laptop and you're kind of ready to go. But what's so cool also is that it comes with a software that allows you to dial in your shot. You can zoom out, zoom in, adjust the sharp the color and things like that. And there's actually built-in mics as well into this thing, but just an awesome camera as you can see and a sweet upgrade from just the built-in webcam on most laptops. And I have a fairly new MacBook Pro, but a sweet webcam to check out. We'll post links to it down in the description below. But I hope you got value in this video. Now, if you wanna check out a good audio solution for also under $50, you can click or tap the screen. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.